Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to tap into the energy of love that surrounds you, that's coming towards you. See what message your angels and guides have for you. So if you're a cross watcher for Virgo, please remember flip switch the energies and roles. Don't force any messages if it does not resonate. Check out other placements. I do have personals available if you're interested. You can connect with me through the email that's provided in the description box of this video. What is the energy of love surrounding Virgo coming towards them, spirit? So I'm going to start the reading with Oracle, and then I will clarify the message with Tarot. Ooh, mask. So there's some type of an illusion, Virgo. Someone is wearing a mask. Someone is not being authentic. It says someone is pretending, putting up a front. There's an energy or a person around you that's two-faced, that's not genuine. There's also an energy of faith and spirit. So someone that you thought was going to be a soulmate ended up or, or um, is going to come out as being some someone that's wearing a mask. There's an energy of a soulmate being two-faced or not being honest. And then there's avoidance. So someone that you may have had a really good start with, someone that you felt really connected to, right? Someone that you've truly wanted to invest with and in. Um, you're starting to feel detached, disconnected, or you're starting to see that person from a different perspective. And now you're wishing and hoping, praying something was different. But your guides and angels are wanting you to know that you are protected, that you are shielded. Your guardian angels are protecting you. You are seeing things clearly because you're meant to. So it could be in regards to someone that you had a lot of love for. Someone that you felt very connected to. Someone that you had made a life partner or potentially one. Now there's an energy of feeling blocked or pushed away. Someone's hiding something. Someone is definitely wearing a mask. Pretending. Putting up a front. Not genuine. But things are changing. Things are evolving. Have faith. Things are going to work out for your greatest and highest good. Is what I'm getting with that spread there. So I'm going to clarify Virgo now with tarot i'm going to use the mystical moments deck for those of you that are interested the first card of the reading will be the anchor i'm going to do a six card spread to dive deeper into this message for you so i call upon virgo's spirit guides and angels to protect the collective do not allow for any negative attachments i call upon my team my spirit guides my angels to protect my energy as well Allow me to channel the highest, greatest good for the collective of Virgo. Do not allow for any negative attachments. What is the energy surrounding coming towards Virgo in regards to love? So the first card is the anchor. Knight of Wands in the reverse. That's a player, son. That's somebody that has been pretending to be in a commitment that isn't. That is someone that you thought was going to give you happily ever after. A marriage possibly um, a living arrangement like it says life partner deep love but this person or the energy of the read of this love is knight of wands in the reverse could be Sagittarius doesn't have to be but knight of wands in the reverse is a player it's someone very non-committal it's someone that's very in and out right and that's the energy that I feel that's surrounding the connection at this time there's avoidance blocking pushing away hiding Someone that you thought was going to um, be very important in your life has fallen away in some capacity. Possibly there has been an illusion and there's an awareness now that you were dealing with someone that was operating as a player. Someone that was pretending to be one thing, but doing something very much outside of the connection. And then we've got the sun. So the sun validates that you thought this was going to be the light. You thought this was going to be the light of your life. This person... And now you see it differently because the sun is not only about happiness. The sun is also about illuminance, right? So the mask has dropped or fallen. You're, there's cracks within the illusion, Virgo. You see the situation differently, clearly, in regards to someone that you thought was going to be your partner, your person, right? There's, there's avoidance here. 
And there's also like some type of an escape. So a manipulation. There's things that you don't see. There's a lack of closure. But I feel that your guides and your angels are wanting you to trust that this is for your greatest and highest good. Because you are feeling things for someone that doesn't exist. This person was playing you. This person was pretending to be everything that you wanted and everything that you were, basically everything that you are, just to get in good graces with you. And now there's this energy of avoidance. But keep praying, hoping, manifesting, meditating, know that you are guided and protected. And the fact that you see things clearly is divine intervention because you're not meant to stay stuck with this type of connection or person is what I feel. So like I said, you could be dealing with Sagittarius. doesn't have to be. What is the challenge that Virgo is facing in regards to this energy spirit? What is the challenge for Virgo? Three of Pentacles. So third party, this person is entertaining outside of the commitment with you. Like I said, this person promised to be committed to you, right? There was soulmate energy, like... um huge life partner commitment but there was more people involved and that's part of a contract there's contract energy three of pentacles the challenge is possibly now breaking contract you could have some type of legal connection with this person or clearing out the energies right this person is avoiding you so avoiding the reality avoiding accountability right they don't uh, want to face the maker basically they don't want to face their um, karma accountability for the way that they've treated you but ultimately that is your challenge is the fact that this person has brought multiple people into this relationship and breaking of contract now moving forward you're going to pull back your energy and this person is avoiding dealing with the reality of the situation this person is avoiding giving closure eight of pentacles in the reverse so you're moving in a new direction is what I'm getting. And that is your energy with that eight of pentacles. So the challenge truly is you pulling back from a, a contract or being released from a contract, right? Moving in a new direction. So that could be through lease, through your, um, you could have pets together, right? Take it as it resonates, but there's definitely a breaking of contract and you're having to pull back and you're, you're going to have to stop putting effort and energy into this player person is what I'm getting. Show me the energy of the recent past for Virgo in regards to this energy of love that surrounds them coming towards them. What is the energy of the recent past in this connection? Ego, King of Wands in the reverse. You could have released a fire sign. Specifically, King of Wands is Aries energy. doesn't have to be but I do feel that you're seeing someone's ego now right someone pretended to be in this very serious lifelong commitment with you and now this person is avoiding you avoiding accountability avoiding closure conversations no longer participating and this person is coming from ego completely this person is avoiding doing the right things but this person doesn't care it's very in and out energy this person's possibly already moved on so your angels and your guides are validating the energy of this connection and they're letting you know that the worst is behind you and to have faith that this is falling away from you for your greatest and highest good. This, this is the energy of your person. You've got Knight of Wands in the reverse, Three of Pentacles, King of Wands in the reverse. This is someone where there's no growth or expansion. This is someone that plays people. This is someone that will do this to the next person. This is an opportunist Virgo. Right, So this is for your greatest and highest good to release this individual because they're not operating from their heart space. This is a, a manipulative energy or person that will continue to use people, right? So the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck in, in the recent past. So, I mean, I feel that you were hit with a tower moment in regards to this person. There was some awareness made. There was cracks in the armor, in the mask. And now you're seeing that this person isn't your future, right? You're stopping putting your investment, you're, you're taking your power back, you're taking your energy back, and you're going to manifest in a new direction. And that's being validated. We've got Libra energy there. What is the energy surrounding Virgo in regards to this message that they are not aware of? What is the energy surrounding Virgo that they are not aware of in regards to this situation? The chariot. So you may feel stagnant at this time. You may feel stagnant in this contract. Right, Because there's definitely some type of a contract that you're breaking, whether that's, you know, um, a verbal 
communication in regards to some type of an ending or it can actually be a physical contract could be soulmate contract cutting of cords as well there's definitely stagnation with that chariot in the reverse but it's also a spirit putting the brakes on right so it was time to um, bring your awareness to this person's manipulation it was time for you to see the situation for what it was because you were invested in this person virgo you had a lot of love for this person right and now this person's basically ghosted with this avoidance card and you're feeling stagnant and not sure which way to move forward right because of this contract because of this commitment that was made but just know that you are releasing someone that is a manipulative player that is very in and out and that is an opportunist and that spirit is validating and wanting and showing that you deserve so much more. So the tower is in the reverse on the chariot in the reverse as well. So it's validation that the universe saw things that were going on behind the scenes, Virgo, that you did not see, right? This person was outwardly in front of you being very committed, giving you all the things to lock you down. But outside of the commitment, this is a player. This is someone that was not acting as someone would in a relationship or commitment, right? This is someone that was very, um, that's very empty inside, very shallow individual, someone that might look outwardly appealing, but deep inside this person's very insecure, right? So the tower in the reverse, Lib we've got the chariot cancer, Libra energy here, lack of investment, right? There's no growth or expansion. So um, the energy that surrounds you is just validation for what has fallen away because the tower occurs, right? When there's things that were happening behind the scenes that you weren't seeing. So I do feel that the tower is over. So the worst is behind you right now. Now it's just about kind of getting your feet back under you and moving towards this energy of having faith. Eventually this will turn to gratitude and peace. And that will be the next step is finding peace within yourself and acceptance that you um, are moving forward in a new direction for your greatest and highest good because there was no growth or expansion with this person. So ultimately, you will continue to be validated for this energy. Show me what is coming towards Virgo. Show me the energy of this person. How does this person feel about Virgo truly? This Knight of Wands in the reverse. The world. Overdone. Like... Right? This is someone that comes in for a short time, not a long time, and then moves upon their merry way. This is someone that takes advantage of people. This is a user, a user and a loser, Virgo, with the world energy. It's over, it's said and done. New cycle, new cycle coming in. Have faith, right? Be grateful, have gratitude for the fact that the spirit has illuminated the path for you, certainly in regards to this person, because you're meant for something more. Your happiness is not tied to a cheater or a user or a loser, right? Your future is expansive. Your future is of the light is what I feel. So you will continue to move with your heart in a different direction. You've released the narcissist, my friend, with the nine of swords and the reverse queen of cups. The person that you are walking away from, closing cycle from, is not capable of love. This is a very insecure shell of a person. Right, so continue to hold your boundaries is what I get here. What is the outcome of this message for Virgo? What is the outcome? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You betcha, you're going to move in a new direction. Your investment is in a different way. It's like a complete 180 degree flip from what you thought was going to be your forever because there's something that you're walking away from closing with that world energy. Ending of this a uh, cycle with a deceptive person that pretended to be what you wanted. And now you're going to start moving towards what it is that you truly deserve with the 10 of pentacles in the reverse. That's the outcome. You're going to pull back all of the energy you're putting into this person and you're going to put it within yourself. There's this dark night of the soul energy here. This is an opportunity for you to accept what has happened, to see it for what it is, have faith moving forward, and there's investment into something new. Bottom of the deck, four of cups. But right now, you may have hard feelings. You may be experiencing heartbreak, pain, and that's okay. Sit with that. Be with that. Because through this pain becomes perception and reality, right? There's clarity of mind, and from this clarity of mind, you will manifest something new that's better than you could have ever imagined, Virgo. Thank you for watching. If you've not done so, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Let me know if it resonates in the comments. Take care, Virgo. Bye.